Hello everybody, I'm Strategic Primus, and this is a brand new series that I'm happy to introduce. This will be a Stellara series, as you can all most probably tell. Uh, we'll be playing as the Prison Consciousness. That's right, I have Synthetic Dawn, uh, and I will be playing through. Uh, the following videos in this series will be off of a Twitch stream that I put up the other night, and the YouTube will be split out from that series after this video. This video is a bit of an introduction for, for a sort of thing for YouTube, uh, where I walk through what all the consciousness is and how I made some decisions about them. I do this for Twitch because it's not quite the right sort of a thing to do on Twitch. I chose this portrait. It looks pretty awesome. I mean, they are all kind of cool, but I, I personally like this guy. Uh, species name, we are the Risen. Sounds cool. We're using the machine. Uh, it's number one. These sorts of names. Traits. Here's the first real. We immediately automatically get machine due to our selection of a machine race, where we have plus 200% habitability, double cost. We have efficient processors, which means our upkeep goes down by 10%. Enhanced memory. Computer level cap is plus two. We are uncanny. Really, your opinion impact minus 25. That means everyone's going to hate us a little. And we have high maintenance, so consumer goods cost plus 25%. Um, sort of a bad thing to have. We're trying to get rid of this uh, trait as machines can do that sort of thing. Ruler, I call him number one. He's the first module. Uh, you're allowed to have a cyborg species thanks to something that I'm going to do government ethics for. Our machine intelligence. Our leaders are immortal. Recruitment cost is plus 100%. Machine pops do not grow but are built. Non machine pots must either be assimilated, enslaved, or purged. We have access to special machine technologies. We cannot research robot or food tech. We cannot follow psionic, biological, or synthetic ascension paths. So we are already in synthetic ascension, more or less. We are factory overclocked. That gives us leader level cap plus 1, plus 10%. A leader experience gain. So in total, we have a leader level cap of plus three, leader experience gain plus ten percent, and we were driven as simulators. This is what gives us that cyborg subspecies, as it says right here. We start the game with four cyborg pops, and the ability to turn organics into cyborg. So basically, we're like the Borg or Cybermen, and we're trying to turn, update everybody into being us. Entirety of the galaxy, one with us. That's what this series will be all about. Experience one is. Come in the world, matter sort of a build because we have plus 200% uh, habitability. Chose for subspecies to be pig people. We're the valley, who are the valley? They are the ones given them one traits all. We immediately get cybernetic, which gives them habitability plus 20%, army that damage for 10%, and lead span of plus 40 years. They gain industrious. Gave them that. It's 15% minerals. Non adaptive habitability minus 10% because we really don't care about their habits and they're not really going to move around too much. Sedentary. Again, they're not going to move really around too much, so we don't care to, if to move them. And we gave them very strong to make them very focused on pumping up minerals and having a high arm damage. I have since realized that you can get armies out of these guys. However, tier. Uh, mineral material labor. That's what they're basically for. That is how we... I will see you guys in the actual first episode of the series. Thank you.